welcome back to my channel my name is Mabel and here on my channel I film about family relationships beauty and lifestyle I also like to vlog I cook occasionally and I love to eat food so hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to our channel thank you for always tuning in if you're new here and just seeing this beauty for the first time welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel okay because here on my channel we learn we share and we have fun yes we do you know there are people who are really crazy about coming abroad i mean they are crazy specifically about finding spouses in their abroad husbands wife and so on okay and i'm saying this just from you know growing up you know as a child we used to watch these movies where you see people um trying to get married to people who live abroad and when i say movies movies are usually a depiction of things that happen in real life anyways and yes these things are things that happen in real life true stories okay but i mean i know people personally that have also married people abroad just for the sake of going abroad okay so back to the movies growing up okay you see people marry people who they've never met before people that they've met via social media only and they're confident enough to marry and go over and meet these people they've never met them physically yeah maybe they've seen pictures they've talked on the phone yeah they know their families families connect families like i'll have like an uncle or a brother who live abroad and i know this good girl in quotes who lives back in nigeria i know you guys you know always say nigeria because i'm nigerian and then i'll hook my brother up with this girl because i think she's a good girl and i know my brother needs a wife and i want him to marry a home-based wife you know so all these things are things that happen in real life and they also we see them in movies so in today's video i'm going to be talking about checklists that people who are crazy about abroad spouse should have and maybe go through before marrying people who live abroad so today's video is actually inspired by a story i heard recently about a girl who moved abroad to marry somebody who she met via social media okay he came back he went back home to nigeria got married to her and then took her abroad okay and it's been it, it didn't work out okay so that's what kind of inspired me to do this video so i tried to put down a checklist based on the story that i heard and general knowledge of things that i feel like are important to be on this checklist for those who really want to marry people who live abroad especially if you've never known the person personally or if you guys weren't dating before they moved abroad or stuff like that and disclaimer okay also I've heard of few relationships of people who met via social media and it's worked out for them perfectly, okay? Social media is a tool, actually. Social media is a good tool to meet people, yes. I strongly believe in it, okay? Because, you know, these days, you can be in your home and sell yourself via social media. I mean, you can sell your talent, you can put your pictures and videos, you can connect via social media and then build a solid relationship going forward, okay? That's why I'm saying so. I'm not really now the fact that people meet online and have successful marriages but i'm just saying i'm putting out this checklist for free for you if you're crazy about marrying people who live abroad okay so number one on my checklist will be asking specific questions okay i mean if you meet somebody who live abroad or if you know somebody who live abroad and they're wanting to come get married to you and i'm going to say it from the woman's point of view especially okay that doesn't mean that men are not also victim of what I'm talking about or what I've just talked about you know but most of the time women fall victims to these things okay and like I said the story I heard was in, about a lady that moved abroad to meet a man so it's more from a woman's point of view okay so the first of my checklist to be asking specific questions okay yes and when I talk about specific question I mean question about job what the person does okay there have been sad stories of you know we know how you talk with friends you read stories and all that and you hear stories about people who came here um let me give very i'm gonna go i'm gonna be very specific okay how someone is probably a nurse aide or a nurse or even an uber driver are these are all good jobs okay yes they are very good jobs now any good source of living right yes but i mean ask questions like what do you really do you know i was talking about a story about because a story about somebody who was just a nurse aide in america and told the person he was going to marry back home 
that he was a doctor okay and when she came here she realized that it wasn't the case yeah so in that case he deceived her you know and yes coming here and her knowing that he wasn't what he claimed he was is a good enough reason for her to want to leave if she wants to because i mean what if she really wanted to marry a medical doctor what if it has been her dreams to marry a medical doctor so i mean ask specific questions especially with their jobs what do you do how much do you earn where do you work that way, if they know you're earning an honest living through whatever you are doing and they decide that they're going to move here and, you know, help you out or, you know, boxing, whatever you're doing, you know, move here and continue to live their lives with you, you were honest about your living. You were honest about what you were doing. So ask questions. What do you do? If they say, I work in the hospital, what do you do? Are you a doctor? Are you a nurse? Are you an aide? Are you a front desk staff? You know, there's so many things. You say you work in the car industry. Are you a salesperson? Are you a driver? Are you a cleaner? Ask specific questions, especially about their jobs. That's number one. Let me just slide this in while I'm talking about asking questions. Also, their health conditions, just general things you will ask people basically. But just living abroad, I'm just going to go specific on the things that I feel like are very relevant for people who live abroad. The number two question you should ask would be, do you have an ex? I mean, when I say ex, ex-wife, ex-husband, you know, because you want to know. I know that there are a lot of people who marry in their abroad for several reasons, okay? But no matter whatever the reasons were or was that you have an ex, you know, you still need to let the person you're getting married to, who's going to come over abroad and you know spend their life with you it's important to let them know that yes i used to be married to such a so person you know we were married for this long and this was the reason why i married the person just be transparent generally so you need to ask questions about their ex so you don't come here and marry somebody who used to be married before and they have like a like a crazy ex-wife or ex-husband that can possibly harm you who just came here okay and i'm saying here because i live in the abroad yeah yeah that's what those who are watching my videos who don't live in the us even if you live in canada i think it's abroad to you if i'm not living in canada with you yeah so that's another good question to ask did you have an ex have you been in a marriage prior to getting married to me yeah and on the line of the having an ex-wife or an ex-husband it's also important to ask questions like do you have children that the previous marriage produce any child or even if it wasn't a marriage, have you had a child? Do you have a child? Do you have children? This is very important. I mean, if you're watching this video, if you come across this video, if you have somebody you know who is about to move abroad to meet their husband's or wife or they're going to get married, please share this video with them, okay? Because it's very, very important. Ask the person, do you have a child? Especially for the men, yeah? Because I'm saying this from the point of view of child support, yeah? Because if any man has a child and is bringing you over as a wife, just know that there's something called child support that people pay in the abroad and it's compulsory, okay? You cannot run away from it. You know, yeah, yeah. So ask them, did you have a previous marriage? Did you have a previous relationship? Did you produce a child in that marriage or relationship? Ask specific questions because if you're married somebody who have a child or children best believe they're going to pay child support until that child is i think 18 yes so if your husband when you move here and your husband is making a certain amount of money they must remit some to their children's mom or whoever is over the child before bringing home whatever is left okay i know that's going to affect your family's income and finances and you have to deal with it as long as that child remains um under 18 or under 16 one of those ages 16 18 i'm going to put it on the screen if i find out that it is just to be sure okay so you need to ask questions like did you have an ex-wife did you have an ex-relationship did you produce any child how many children what is the arrangement with the child's parents and also besides the financial part okay you don't even want somebody who has a crazy ex-wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend with a child that will come and invade your space all the time. You know, you're going to ask what's your relationship like with your child's mom or your child's dad, you know, from the angle of a man or a woman. What's your relationship? Is it toxic? Is it 
respectful is it cordial you know what are the boundaries you have set what is the boundaries you're going to have moving forward i mean these are very very important questions i thought about this point true and thorough before i even decided to put these things on my checklist for you all okay so yeah ask questions like that they will help you in the short run and the long run okay okay another question that i feel like is very important to ask if you're coming to meet your spouse or your partner that lives abroad in america in canada in the uk australia this is applicable to most of these countries okay ask them about their loan and credit card debts yes very important you all that's the and let me say because they have loans or credit card debt doesn't mean they are irresponsible or they are whatever is the system of life abroad okay but just ask them how much do you owe do you have credit card debts do you have debts with loan companies um how much is it how do you pay it how do you plan paying how is it going to affect your finances because i'm saying this thing because money finances is one big aspect of a relationship any relationship husband and wife relationship siblings relationship siblings child and parent relationship money is one big factor that affects all relationships especially marriage relationships okay so ask the person you're coming to meet over in their abroad how much debt they have how much debt they have in loans and credit cards okay and how they want to how they plan to go about them if they are really big debts okay it's not like it's a red flag per se yeah but it's an important point because it also tell you a lot about the person how responsible or irresponsible they are to an extent eventually um how how um prudent or not they are and so many other factors and this one was supposed to be my number one because this was the reason or the main point of the person of the story that i heard that um yeah that i heard that inspired this video basically so how much they have in loans and credit what did they use those loans and credit to do like why did they get it and how much have they paid off how much they how do they plan to pay them off how much they pay monthly because there's some people who <laughs> you guys these are abroad eh? there's a lot of things you need to go to school before you move to the abroad there's some people who owe so much that their debts company kind of what's that word take money from their paychecks before they even get their whatever is left yeah it has a word but yeah ask questions about loans and credit card debts okay and then since we're talking about money as well ask about financial arrangements okay especially for women you guys i know people like i've heard stories of, and these are real life stories and i've read things and all that i think i'm more interested in like of course you are not very interested in relationship marriages abroad wherever it is i don't care but i mean ask questions about financial arrangements like you know when you are when you you know when you're back in africa okay wherever african country you are especially nigeria i'll say nigeria all the time you have a you have a guy who's abroad or your husband who's abroad and he's sending you dollars while you are in nigeria and by the time you change it ah it's a big money i mean you know and you'll enjoy yourself you're like ah life is good but then when you come here it's a different narrative most of the time okay and it's not it's not a bad narrative you know sometimes when you come here as a woman or as a man you would have to support your partner financially okay you would have to work um and contribute as much as you can and that is absolutely okay yes it is okay so but these are the questions you have to ask when i move abroad how are we going what's the financial arrangement am i going to be a stay-home mom and raise the children and manage the home are you going to provide for us 100 percent would you expect me to do anything if i do anything how much do you expect me to you know give into the family or what will be our arrangement with finances and all that we financially run in the home basically ask questions there's nothing wrong in asking this question it doesn't make you feel it doesn't make you look desperate or nosy or whatever i mean these are questions you need to ask okay let me tell you and they are very intelligent questions to ask as well so ask questions about financial arrangement okay and while you're on the financial arrangement question also ask questions about what their plans are for you okay because there are people who are very successful back home women you know they're, they're career people they have businesses they're succeeding they're excelling and they're excited they're happy and they move here and then the man wants them to be stay home moms raise the children while they do other things you know that might not give 
some people, some women, um, satisfaction, you know, they might want to work, they might want to do business, they might want to even go back to school and further their education. So ask questions like, when I come over there, you know, what are your plans for me? Would you want me to, because I would love to go back to school, I would also love to work. I don't want to be a stay-at-home mom. And then you talk about it and you hear the person's opinion because you don't want to, do, you know, and there's nothing wrong with a man wanting his wife to stay at home and look after the home. There's nothing wrong with a woman wanting to stay at home and be a homemaker as well. You know, there's nothing wrong in anyone to also come abroad and want to, you know, further their education and all that. But these are the things that you need to ask before you even move abroad, before you even marry somebody who lives abroad, okay? That being said, I also think that it's very mind-blowing to me to know that somebody who wants to marry somebody who lives abroad, who they've never met before, who they possibly just have met, seen pictures on social media, talk on the phone and you're just going to accept to marry them especially there are some people who the man will even go back home to marry you their family will do the marriage on their behalf you put picture or however they do it and then you move abroad without even meeting this person for the first time i mean that is very dangerous that's like extreme for me thinking about it actually you know even if you want to marry people who live abroad at least um let them visit you here and there you guys can spend time together, know the person personally, or maybe even hold off on the marriage and move abroad and meet the person and spend some time, I mean, know the person in real life before you even decide to go ahead with the marriage. Because, I mean, people who marry people that they've never met before, they've never seen before, they marry people based on recommendation or just off of talking on social media, you guys to see because i could have never done anything like that okay so yeah i just wanted to come here and share some wisdom with you guys as a content creator who lives in america but is originally from nigeria i like to share things especially related to living abroad living in nigeria comparing things and just sharing general knowledge that i feel like will help somebody yeah yeah that being said i've come to the end of today's video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned a thing or two from this video and if you're not in a position where you need this kind of information and you know somebody who probably this thing would help share my videos with them and let me know in the comment section what you think about what i have just said in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye